Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. If you have been hanging around Scentsy for any amount of time at this point, you may be getting used to the fact that Mondays typically are kind of exciting around Scentsy. And this coming Monday, May 17th, is no different because not only are we getting ready to launch a brand new collection, but we're also relaunching a collection as well, which is so super fun. So if maybe you are newer to Scentsy, maybe you did miss out on this collection. And so that's why this relaunch is really fun and exciting. Or maybe it just didn't speak to you at the time. Maybe now it is. So without further ado, allow me to share with you the Scentsy Disney inspired villains collection. This includes a warmer as well as a bar collection. Awesome because I have the warmer here to share with you. Way cool. There's no other Scentsy warmer like it. There's no other warmer like it, period, end. <laughs> and then the bars are amazing as well. I do have two of the bars, one of the bars. I would definitely say it's worth getting all three for the collection, but I really only really, really liked two of them. Um, only one of them is in my Scentsy Club. We'll talk about that here momentarily. But first, let's talk about this warmer, you guys. So, like I said, I do have one for myself. And like I said, it is so different, not like anything else that you have ever seen. And this is essentially like you're getting three warmers in one. Fantastic, right? So this is just a little preview. I'm gonna show you all the awesome details and every and everything like that here in just a second. But allow me to read a little tidbit directly from Sensi. So this collection, the warmer and the bars, are going to be relaunching this coming Monday, May 17th, um, sometime within the hour of 9.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. That is Pacific Standard Time. Um, I am taking orders, so if you don't have a consultant you're already working with or you would like me to place your order for you, go ahead and feel free to fill out the order form down below in the, um, in the description box, and I'm happy to place the order for you. Uh, let me see here. So, our popular Disney Villain Scentsy Warmer and Disney Villains Wax Collection are coming out of the vault. So, as you guys know, these are these are these types of collections are only available while supplies last. We are never promised the opportunity to be able to purchase them again. Most of the time, they're locked up and if if it sells out or it, or it's pulled, you're just kind of out of luck. So, these don't typically come back super regularly, so if this is something that you are kind of on the fence about or it's speaking to you now and maybe it wasn't before, now's the time. <laughs> now is the time to definitely pick up either the warmer or the bars or both. Uh, let me see here. So starting May 17th, you can purchase these products while supplies last. So once again, while supplies last. Um, so the warmer itself, the warmer itself is going to be $75. That's US pricing. But like I said, yes, it's a little expensive. But like I said before, you're basically getting three warmers in one because you have three separate designs of the three different villains. Amazing, right? Amazing. And not only that, but you are going to see all the detail that goes into these warmers. And it's, it's Disney. So I mean, that speaks for itself. $75 US, the Disney Villains Wax Collection does come with all three bars. If you're only interested in one particular bar, I would suggest either starting or adding to your Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club, you will hear me talk about all the time. It is our um, subscription service for any of our consumable products. So that is amazing for your favorite bars, especially for limited time only situations like this, because if there is a particular bar that you love so very much, can't live without, maybe like Mistress of Evil, because this is what's in my club, um, then you can add it to your Scentsy Club and Scentsy will continue to make these bars for you as long as they're in your Scentsy Club. Now that only goes for the bars. So if you add, um, car bars or scent circles or pods or anything like that to your Scentsy Club and they wind up retiring, those are pulled from your Scentsy Club, but the bars themselves will always stay in your club, which is amazing. So if there's only one of the bars that really speaks to you, or maybe you forgot to add it to your club last time, 
now's the time. You can add it to your Scentsy Club, which is fantastic. Love it. And you can always edit or change the club as much as you want. So inspired by Disney's most notorious villains, the Disney villain Scentsy Warmer is a, is a powerful uh, multi-faced statement piece showcasing the evil queen, Maleficent, and Ursula, the sea witch. And the wax collection features a trio of Scentsy bars packaged in a display-worthy gift box. It, it like folds open. I don't have the box itself anymore, but it like folds open like a little book. It's super cool. Um, that takes a page from the most devilish of spell books. Like I said, the amazing fragrances allow these villains to tell their side of the story. So we'll talk about, let me, let me go ahead and show you the warmer first and then we'll talk about the bars and we'll sniff them. We'll talk about them. We'll talk about the notes and all of that jazz. So this is, it looks like a cauldron. So there are multiple pieces here. The dish itself, it's a green dish. And it's got a poison apple on the bottom of the dish. You guys, I love, that is one of the things I love so much about our Disney warmers are the dishes. The dishes, I mean, ev there's no, it, there's so much detail. There's so much detail. There's no sparing any, any amount of detail whatsoever. So, and this is no different. So you've got the poison apple on the bottom of your green dish here. You have a 20 watt green bulb that is inside your warmer. What I will say, because Sensi does not sell individually on our websites, the green 20 watt bulb. So if you need a replacement bulb, you'll need to contact your consultant and have them order you another replacement bulb for that. So just so you know, so you have the cauldron here that slips off. There is a sleeve inside here that will fit into the scene of your villain, if you will. So that just slides right over. So this is the base here. And on the base, you can see there's these like spiked vines, if you will. Super cool. Love it. So this will sit in here. I had Ursula in the front here. So let's put her and then this just slides right over top. And let's make sure that she's lined up here. Meet, meet, meet. So now you can see you've got it all lined up and you've got Ursula with her little crystal ball here, checking out Ariel, spying on her. We've got the evil queen, how cool is this? And then we have Maleficent right over here. But you can't, you don't have to turn it like, you don't have to turn the base itself. You can turn the cauldron and then the sleeve inside so that it, it faces the front, if that makes sense. So, okay, dish. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like when it's turned on because it's really super cool. I love this. Bink. So it's not a super bright warmer, which is nice. So if you want to have this in your bedroom or anywhere where you feel like you might be a little bit sensitive to light, it's not super bright. Super, super cool. So this is, like I said, I feel like you're getting three warmers in one and then check out, check out that dish Ooh. with the poison apple. So cool. So cool. So I know a lot of people are really excited if they missed out on the chance to purchase one of these warmers or the bars or both uh, because this was available last year. So it's coming back. So available for $75 US starting on Monday, May 17th. Okay, let's talk about the bars. Like I said, Mistress of Evil is my favorite. I honestly was not expecting, I will always remember when I first heard about these bars, I was like, cause I always like to kind of guess what my favorite's gonna be, what my least favorite's gonna be. And I was totally flip flopped on all three of these. <laughs> I was totally flip flopped. I thought Mistress of Evil was not going to be my favorite. I thought it was going to be my least favorite because I think if I remember correctly, I think there's a current note in here, but it's so good. It's so, so good. Sweet plum pastry vibes without the pastry note. So it's sweet and there's plum in this. It's really, really nice. I love it. So let me tell you the notes on this. So Maleficent, uh, Mistress of Evil. So Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. The beauty of Gardenia meets uh, Melevent Musk 
while juicy blood orange drips over Satsuma Satsuma plum for the sweetest revenge. So there is that plum note in here. There isn't, I really don't get any floral from this. I really don't. It's really more of that plum that's shining through a hint of the blood orange, but really, so there is no current in here. I thought there was, I remember there was, I think it was a Disney bar, I think, but there was some bar that I thought I was not going to like because there was a current note in there and I, I wound up loving it, but uh, I love it. Um, but yeah, gardenia tends to be a very strong powdery floral and I really don't smell that. Um, very light on the musk, but it's really all plum and just a little bit of blood orange. It's really good. I love this one. So if you haven't had a chance to try this, if you're not interested in any of the other ones, if we have similar tastes, add this to your club. <laughs> add this to your club immediately Monday morning or afternoon, depending on what uh, time zone you're in. It's it's worth it. It's worth it. I promise you it's worth it. Okay. The other one that I have is Evil Queen Just One Bite. And this one's not in my club only because I hate to say it like this, but I don't find that this is like a super special spiced apple scent. It's apples and cinnamon. There is like another warm note to this, which is nice. I do like it. Um, but it's just, I feel like I feel like we have other scents like this. So, but like I said, I feel like it is worth maybe giving a try to pick up with the collection. Um, who knows? You may, it may wind up being your next favorite, but um, it is at, like I said, it is apple spices and there is another like third like element to this that creates warm. It's, it's almost like a bakery. It's almost like a, not quite, apple pie but there is like a warm almost bakery element to this as well so it is really nice it's just i can't have all the things in my club you guys <laughs> i can't um perfect honestly i really really enjoy this during the fall which is why i'm just saving the bars that i have left for the fall when it comes around because this when it's 100 degrees outside i am not here for it that's just me that's just me if you warm apple cinnamon scents all year long go for it you do you i i totally i get it um okay evil queen just one bite the temptation is too much to resist when poisoned apple hidden deep in the forest woods blends with warm cinnamon and menacing black molasses so it may be the black molasses that's giving it that almost like bakery it's it's sweet it's adding obviously it's adding that sweetness but there's a warmth beyond beyond the cinnamon. I feel like it's almost bakery. It's really nice though. So just one bite also comes in that uh, villains collection. The one not shown here is the uh, Ursula inspired bar, which is poor unfortunate souls. And this is described as an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, and bubbly goji berry wrapped up in a vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. So when I read all of those, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Ursula's gonna be my number one. Well, guess what, friends? It's a nice scent. It's nice. I smelled nothing when it was warming nothing. I mean, maybe a hint when I stuck my face over the warmer and only for like half a day, if that. It did not perform for me whatsoever. So it was kind of a womp womp for me. I I warmed through the bars that I had and I, I just, I don't miss it. The clamshell itself is really cool. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to look at the illustrations, if you're a Disney collector, you know, use up the bars and then save the save the clamshells to to keep but um as far as bars wise <sighs> mistress of evil is definitely my number one just one bite number two and then poor unfortunate souls would be my number three i think it's worth i do think it's worth giving it a try to to do the collection me personally i would say that it, i would say this is probably club worthy if you really enjoy those um apple spice sense this is nice like i said i don't think it's like super special but i think if that's like if that's the type of scent that you go for and you you can't overdo on all of the apple spice totally add it to your club but this one oh club worthy it's so good and especially because we just don't have very many 
um, plum type scents. I, I, I really like this. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. So those are coming back starting this coming Monday, May 17th. Uh, contact your consultant, place your order um, either on my website or I'm happy to place the order for you. I will link my website down below as well as the order form. I'm more than happy to place the order for you. It's only going to be available while supplies last. Um, let me see here. So, and also, like I said, you can add these to your Scentsy Club. So starting Monday, May 17th, Disney Villains Wax Collection fragrances can be added to your Scentsy Club subscriptions within 30 days after the launch or as long as the fragrances are available beyond that date. So that means starting 30, 30 days, or as long as these scents are available past the 30 day mark. So um, I would be surprised if they stay around past them because I've I've had a lot of people who were like, oh, I missed out, like it just, the timing wasn't right, you know, with the holidays coming up and things like that um, because this was released, uh, I don't remember the exact dates, but I wanna, it was, was it September or October? It was September or October. So you know, you're starting to gear up for holidays and stuff like that. So if you didn't have a chance to pick it up then, it's coming back now, friends. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. How excited are you for this collection to relaunch? What is your favorite Disney villains wax bar? Let me know. I love to hear from you guys. So like I said, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.